An English Parliament is an enticing idea. The proponents cry out, give England a voice, and rationalise our system. But its all too clear flaws would soon cause the disastrous breakup of the UK. An English Parliament is proposed in two forms. Firstly, a dual mandate Parliament, where MPs from English constituencies only, who are already sitting in Westminster, would meet as an English Parliament at certain times. Secondly, the most popular option, an entirely new English Parliament of elected MPs based outside London with extensive devolved powers, just like the Northern Irish Assembly, the Scottish Parliament and the Welsh Parliament. A dual mandate Parliament, the details of which are still very vague, would suffer from immense difficulties regarding procedure, powers, composition and structure. Such a body has never been attempted in the world, and so, although painted as a more incremental change, would be deeply unconservative, as it is not based on precedent. A separate English Parliament would overturn centuries of constitutional fine-tuning just because some feel England is overlooked. It would be the equivalent of tearing down a house because one of the joists is rotten. It would take decades, even centuries, for our system to regain a stable constitutional balance. It would also be very expensive, with many new politician salaries to be paid when there's a cost of living crisis. Both of these ideas would lead inexorably to the breakup of the UK. History furnishes the examples of a federal state breaking up under nationalism. Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and the USSR to name a few. The countries that make up the UK have more that unites them than divides them and working together, Scots, Irish, Welsh and English, who are all fundamentally Brits, could achieve so much more than they can alone and fragmented. A strong reason why the UK would break up is because Westminster would be made all but irrelevant. England makes up 85% of the population of the UK, and such an unbalanced federal state could not last long. Westminster would be left with powers only over the constitution, defence and immigration. These powers are mostly irrelevant to English constituents, who would increasingly see Westminster as an unjustified expense. Since Westminster is the foundation of the Union, its marginalisation would be catastrophic. English votes for English laws was a procedure that meant legislation only affecting England had to be approved by a majority of English MPs. Evil ran from 2015 to 2021, when the government reprehensibly terminated it. Evil largely solved the problem of non-English MPs unfairly forcing bills through in Parliament that didn't affect them. So, a sensible reform for the Conservative and Unionist Party to address the West Lothian question would be to introduce a reworked and revamped replacement for evil.